welcome back to the golf house if you've been here before if you're new welcome i'm so glad you're here i'm jenny and today i have a haul for you i actually just went to aldi and i need to unpack all these groceries i'm going to show you what i got today was kind of a pantry stock up um, generally i stock the pantry every fall usually i wait till november to do it because everything goes on sale but I thought I would go to Aldi and see what they had and do a little bit of a stock up a little bit early and then whatever's left that I need I will get when it goes on sale. Hopefully they have sales this year. Um, but I did get some things for um, Thanksgiving and holiday stuff as well. So, but by the way, my receipt is about half the length I am with a grand total of $436. That is quite a bit, quite a big haul for Aldi. And this is all just mostly pantry items. Anyway, I'm gonna get this stuff unpacked and show you what I got. I have bags everywhere too, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, starting on this side, pastas. Aldi has pastas and they are super cheap. I think these were a dollar a box maybe 75 cents they're super inexpensive i got two packages of ramen you know it's a guilty pleasure we love ramen every once in a while um i got these mini muffins these are not something that i buy very often i don't buy a lot of pre-made ready stuff but i'm gonna actually send these over to the kids house for the littles um, they like them and my kids don't cook like i do so I did get cereal, and I got three of these um, Fruit Loops, pretend Fruit Loops, $1.29 a box, uh, but my granddaughter loves those, and cocoa chocolate puffs, I guess you could call them. I got some of those. I just stick those in the pantry for when the kids stay all night. They eat this before they eat real breakfast, so don't think I'm just feeding them that. <laughs> I did grab just a couple of these little tuna chicken salad things. Um... I like these, and sometimes this is what I eat for lunch. I did get noodle soups, and I got four onion soups. I love these. You can make a ton of stuff with these. When I don't feel good, I like these. And I got five little chicken stuffings. Those are great for hors d'oeuvres and for dinners. I do a lot of stuff with that, or to use for toppings on things, like a crumble topping. You can use it in meatloaf. Um... You know, you mix the sausage in with those to make the sausage balls. There's so many things you can do with that. Pastas. I got one, two, three, four, five pastas. These are $1.19. And then I did get one wide egg noodle pasta. I think that was like $1.19 or something. Um, some shells. I did get marinara sauces. These are always great for the pantry. These and pastas, always, always, because you can make all kinds of things with them. So I grabbed four sauces, and these are $1.19 a piece, I think. Um, I did get more caldo de pollo. You know, I love this. $4.30 at Aldi, and this is for the big one. 32 ounce, that is a steal. I grabbed two of them. I probably should have got four, but you know, I'll leave some for other people. <laughs> I got the Berry Hill Hazelnut Spread. Not as good as Nutella, but it works. And it still tastes good. Um, I did get a Nescafe. This is always for backup, but also I sometimes like to bake with this. Um, so when I have coffee flavored things, if I'm not using coffee extract, or sometimes I'll use the extract and some of this. But I love this for baking, especially truffles and things like that for the holiday season. Um, I did get two of the sauerkrauts. I like to stay stocked up on sauerkraut. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I got an extra virgin olive oil. I got a lemon infused olive oil. And this is a lemon infused extra virgin. I got a big Cholula. This is only $5. That's pretty good too. I got another bottle of sriracha because we can't run out of that. I got, these are like 70 cents, they're 75 cents. Two garlic powders, two cumins. 
Same thing with these. These are 75 cents. Chili powders and cumins. I really should go down to my Mexican market and grab them, um, but I hadn't planned on going down there and I am actually running out, so I needed some now. I grabbed these for the back of the pantry, some instant potatoes, and Olive Garden Italian dressing. Um, over here I got two soup mixes, the cheddar broccoli soup mix. I actually like these every now and again, but these are great for the back of the pantry. Um, an A1 steak sauce, some cherries, the maraschino cherries. I have some already, but I like to stay stocked up on this because I use these for Christmas. I got hamburger dill chips, dill spears. I did not make pickles this year. I normally make pickles. I didn't. Um, I tried to grow them and they didn't work this year, so no pickles for me. I had to buy them. Um, these are the kosher um, baby dills. And then two jalapenos. These are the hot um, pickled jalapenos. I love these things. I go through jars of them. I make them, but we eat them faster than I can make them also. I did get two of these coconut oils. And by the way, these are like $2.99. That is a pretty good deal for unrefined coconut oil organic. Um, so I always grab those when I go there. I got two olives. I think they were $1.29 a bottle. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes, the julienne cut. I love these. I do a lot of um, dinners with these. And now we're coming down to the canned goods. I feel like I thought I got a bunch of canned goods, but it really doesn't look like it. I got six cans of pumpkin. These are just solid pack pumpkin, 75 cents a can. Um, evaporated milk, I got six cans of that, and this evap milk was 75 cents a can. Um, same thing for most of the stuff is 75 cents. Pineapples, I had a great pineapple shortage in my pantry this year. I thought I had a bunch of pineapple. I went out there and I had none. And so anyway, it was a whole catastrophe because I was trying to make a video for you and I didn't have time to run and I had to change a bunch of stuff in it. And anywho, that long story short, I got um, seven cans of pineapple, three of them slices, three of them crushed, one chunked. I pretty much used the sliced or the crushed for recipes. I got six cans of cranberry sauce. This is just the jellied cranberry sauce. It is not the whole cranberry sauce. I actually love this jellied cranberry sauce. I got one can of black olives because I think I have a bunch of them out there. I wasn't sure. I'll have to look. I got six cans of their version of Rotel with the tomatoes and peppers, the green chilies. Um, I got four cans of tomato paste. I, tr I do stock these, but I also buy big jars of tomato paste that I get several uses out of um, from the Arabic store. So, and that, I think that jar is like $3.99 or $2.99 for that big jar. So I tend to buy that, but I still keep these on the shelf as well. Um, I got six cans of diced tomatoes. I can't keep enough of this in my pantry and I, use, I canned quite a few tomatoes this year, but I still don't have enough. So um, three cans of regular diced tomato, three cans of garlic and basil, um, diced tomatoes and those are organic those again 75 cents a can for all of these I think these were 80 cents a can these little ones um, two cans of chipotle peppers I think I have like a bunch of them out in the pantry but just to be on the safe side I don't want to run out of chipotles and green beans I got six seven eight cans of green beans six cans of cream style corn as I never can corn cream style is my husband's favorite so I have to stock that and then I got four cans of uh, kidney beans. I do need to can up some kidney beans, but I don't have any canned up, so I just grabbed those. Okay, rounding the corner of the table. A bunch of, I did buy a bunch of crap too. So, um, these chewy dipped, these are peanut butter granola bars and chocolate chip. So I give these to the kids and they think they're candy bars. So that's their candy bars, chocolate dipped granola bars little kid candy bars, right? I found these too, Halloween fruit snacks for the littles, 44 pouches, so stinking cute. I, I was so excited to find these. So um, these I will give them to the kids in October. I got, you know, vanilla wafers. Um, 
just in case I want to make something with them. I wanted to make something the other day and I didn't have any. And so I grabbed some for the next time it strikes me to make something. Um, the mini, mini Bear Grams chocolate. The kid, the littles love these things, so I got these. I got one, two, three, four, five bottles of wine. I'm just going to stick these right into my wine cooler, and this will go through the holidays. We don't drink a ton of wine, but I like to have it on hand for when I want it. Um, I do have cranberry juice. I got two of these, 100% cranberry juice. And I did get these dunker things so the kids can eat these right away. That'll be something fun for them. And normally I make them homemade cookies. Believe me, there's no homemade cookie shortage with, for those kids. Also for the holidays, these were $2 a bottle. So I got six bottles of the Martinelli Sparkling Ciders. These ones are just, I think these are, are these apple? Yeah, this one's apple and... This one's apple. So this is all apple. When I find the grape one, I'll grab those too. Um, but my kids don't generally drink a lot, so that's actually their favorite. Um, as adults, they all still drink that. Um, if anybody drinks the wine, it's usually me. The Clamato I grabbed for Bloody Marys. Oh, that's my style. I love the Bloody Marys, so I will stock that in there. I do make Bloody Mary mix, but I also like to have this on hand as well, because you know I do entertain. Um, I did get an apple cider. This was only $2.99. I was pretty excited to find apple cider for $2.99. And my Clamato, how much was this? Um, I want to say it was $4 for these big ones, which is a really good price. And then back here, I got um, sea salt pita chips, some organic yellow corn chips, some white cheddar puffs for the little, and those are organic, and I just realized they have a slice in them. They're going to have to go in the garbage. Dang it. They weren't that much money, I guess. It's too far to go back. Nope, not going back. They will have to just go in the trash. I grabbed three bags of oyster crackers. I make the ranch crackers for Thanksgiving, so I've got those now. For that, I'll make my own ranch seasoning and put it on those. Um, these are dark chocolate, German dark chocolate candies. They're really good. I stock these and put them away anytime the kids come over, they want chocolate. We pretty much only eat dark chocolate here. Um, I did get these for the littles, these little crispy wafer things. They like those. Um, I got the fudge marshmallow cookies. These were $1.19. And so were these fudge stripe ones, $1.19. And look at these, I found these. These were $2.99 a box. I ended up getting four boxes. I'm gonna stow them away for Thanksgiving. Look how beautiful those are. Little chocolate pumpkins. I was pretty excited to find that. Um, I got these Parmesan crisps and Parmesan crisps cheddar. <laughs> Those are for me. I love those things. And then I got pickle ranch chips. Figured we'd try these. These were a dollar a bag. Bacon and cheddar. Um, festive stuff. I got some pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. Yes, please. And here is my dairy section. Pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I figure I would try their version. I normally, when I buy this, this is the only time of year I buy it. Obviously, pumpkin's only available this time of year, but I don't generally buy flavored creamers only around this time of year and only pumpkin. Um, and I generally just buy the Kroger one, but I'm going to try theirs. We'll see what it's like. And then I found whipped cream. This is pumpkin spice whipped cream, and this one is maple vanilla whipped cream. So um, I was super excited about those. Those will stay good and for the next couple months and be good for Thanksgiving. I got two Parmesan cheeses. I got a mascarpone cheese. I got three um, spreadable cheeses. This one's horseradish and cheddar, sharp cheddar, and garlic and herb. I told you it's cheese ball season. Um, those were $2 in some odd sense per container. These were $2.99, and these are the baby bell cheeses. Uh, their cheeses are such a good deal. Havarti cheese, I think this was $3 and something. And then a white cheddar with cranberry. Smoked white cheddar, or smoked cheddar. Smoked Gruyere. 
smoked Gouda. You know I love my smoked cheeses. And I got plans for some of these. And then the antipasta, the olives, and the feta, and this is just for me. I did grab some Senor Rico rice pudding. My husband loves these. And then chocolate chunk cookie dough with sea salt and caramel. Pre-made cookie dough. It's going over to the kids' house. You know, my daughter-in-law, she likes to bake sometimes, but she has three kids, so she doesn't always get the chance. Um, so I just got this so she can put these in the oven for the littles. I got crackers. These will last for Thanksgiving, so for the entertaining. These are garlic and chive pita crackers. I got just original crisp. I think these are the butter crackers. And then the six cracker assortment, kind of like the entertainment version. I went mainly for pantry stuff, so I did grab a couple of fresh things though. I need a little bit more zucchini. Um, I needed a cauliflower because my soup timber is coming up and I've got plans for that. I am, I love these French green beans, so I wanted to, I have some of that Costco salmon that's already marinated. I love fresh green beans with that, so that's a quick dinner. Brussels sprouts, um, two broccolis, because I made uh, Alfredo and chicken tonight, and I wanted to stick broccoli in it, and I was out. And then apricots, the dried Mediterranean apricots. I have plans for a video for that for you. And lastly, two pounds of bacon. These are $3.75 a piece. These mixed vegetables are 75 cents. So I got mixed vegetables. I got three broccolis, again, 75 cents. Um, $4 and some odd cents for the pound of ground beef. This one's a pound. Before I bought a tinier, smaller, little half pound, but this one is a pound. Um, I did get some uncured Bavarian bratwurst and some uncured beer bratwurst. I like those. And then these chicken melt things. I actually like these for lunches when I'm busy. So um, not homemade, definitely a freezer thing. I tried them the last time and they are actually pretty good. So I got two boxes of those, a little box of White Castle burgers back there. So there you go, all of that. But like I said, a lot of it will be storage and then the, a lot of it, um, it I'll have ready for the holidays. So. I got quite a few things though. They have excellent prices. That is a lot of food. All right, folks, it is now 8.30 at night and I have to go put all of this stuff away out in the storage. So, good night. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.